Hello, welcome to Telecom TV. We're in the City of London at Cloud Native Telco 2019 and I'm talking with Phil Twist, who is VP Marketing and Communications Networks at Nokia. Phil, great to see you again. Great. Uh, it's been a while. It has, too long. So welcome, anyway. And I'd just like to begin like this. Do you think CSPs can use cloud native technologies just as they are for the next phase of network transformation or do they need adapting to new standards and or specifications? That's a very broad question, so let me break that down into pieces. The first part of that question is as you move into 5G, some of the key enablers of it are the fact that you need a cloud native 5G core because that will be part of the 3GBP specifications. So we're kind of moving from a 4G environment where cloud core was a good way to go. Those were VNFs rather than cloud native. Now as we move into the 5G era, having a proper cloud native core is absolutely critical to enable an operator to work in this mode. Phil, NFE is taking quite a lot longer and it's costing quite a lot more money uh, than was originally anticipated all those years ago. How can we avoid and how do we avoid going over the same scenario with cloud native? So it's, it's, it's a journey and the journey is kind of abstracting the different layers so that you can work hardware independent. We've kind of been making that journey for quite some time, at least as Nokia, as we were moving to uh, off the shelf hardware for some of the core network functionality. So we've had the ability to have a VNF driven core, an NFV driven core for quite some time. The next step of the journey is taking each of those NFVs and making them into cloud native, which means looking at the containerization. So we've started that journey. The uh, Nokia telephony application server is already in that cloud native format. And over the next two years, we will see a progressive journey of different elements of what goes into a 5G core becoming cloud native. The reason we're doing that as a journey is because there are some elements like the non-real-time functions, the control plane functions, which benefit more from being able to share the resources, share the hardware, share the platforms. And it's more complex as you move into the very high speed user plane functionality, which needs a little bit more re-engineering to get the speed out of the cloud native functions rather than just reworking the existing uh, virtualized network functions. You mentioned a couple of times this is a journey. Journey is usually finite. How long is this one going to be? <laughs> Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, it, it will take a considerable length of time. I mean, we've been progressively cloudifying the network as we move through. There is also the need, as we move into very low latency services in a 5G network, to re-architect the core. You need to move from having a centralized cloud function into a edge, in, indeed into a far edge. So as the drivers for the uh, new services come through, so will the um, pushing out of that functionality towards the end. As you move into Cloud RAN, for example, you start to see uses for far edge, which weren't there before. As you have uh, multi-access edge computing, you can see new applications being hosted on there. As you see new use cases coming in, new revenue sources coming into the 5G world, so it will progress down that journey. So there's one part is to re-architect what's already there to do the same better, faster, cheaper, but there's also the parallel aspects of being able to deliver these new services in a reasonable time frame. So as a journey, well, when will 5G become mainstream? We don't yet have the specifications in full for the standalone 5G, which has the 5G core. So we can at least see a path for the next three, four years of what that journey needs to look like. Thanks. How would you convince the board or a board of directors that cloud native is the way forward for CSPs? I think there's one distinction to make, and that is if you want to carry on being a CSP, as in a connectivity service provider, then maybe it's not imperative. If you want to address new revenue opportunities beyond connectivity to become a digital services provider, if you want to be cost competitive, if you want to be innovative, if you want to be agile, if you want to be able to fail fast with the applications and services that don't work without wasting network investment, then a migration to cloud native is essential. So people who want to leverage the ability of 5G to offer far more than connectivity 
will need to take the journey towards cloud native as they take the journey towards 5G standalone. Okay, looking at um, CSPs, telcos, etc. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the level of cloud native knowledge and awareness that they have the your telco customers? Again, this is not something which is a black and white thing. There are those who are the early adopters, those who've gone to 5G fast, are also looking at cloud fast. You know, we have seen some operators like Hutchison in the UK who've gone very heavily towards having a very modern core network based on cloud architectures. And we can see others that will add it when they need to rather than adding it as a business differentiator up front. But as we've probably heard in some of the debates today, uh, the operators who are going first are running ahead of or in parallel with the vendors. But we deal with many hundreds of operators. The operators will take the journey once, we'll take it a hundred times. Great interview. Phil Twist, thank you. Thank you.